Well, you might not know it, but they are critical to good gas mileage, how your car rides, even keeping your tires from wearing out too soon. Naturally, what Natalie's talking about, <laughs> as she often does, are shocks <laughs> and struts. And not replacing them when they're due could cost you hundreds of dollars that you didn't have to spend. Let's check in with our Monday morning mechanic, David Rogers, live with tips and advice on knowing when to replace the shocks and struts. Hi, David. Well, good morning, Tom. How you doing, Natalie? Good, good thanks. Hey, you're absolutely right. You know, shocks and struts affect the way the tires wear. They affect your gas mileage. I mean, you wouldn't believe how much better gas mileage you get when your shocks and struts are in good shape. Think about it. When you step on the gas, the car has to lurch forward. If these things are beat, then it's not going to lurch forward easily. Here, I'm going to show you. Um, right here is a used one or a, a shot shock. You can see it's a, actually a strut. You can see how it bounces right back up. A good one is going to slowly come up. The reason that it works this way is basically inside these things is an oil pump, and it's a two-stage pump. And it, when, the, when you hit a bump or something, it comes down, and then it releases very slowly. This is a strut. Typically, it's the same thing, but it has a spring loaded outside of it. And what will happen is it will depress down on a bump and come up very gently and easily. Now, most of today's cars are built with struts, and as I said, they have a coil spring out here that's mounted to the car. The reason for that is, is that it gives a much better grip to the road and it holds you down smoother. What happens when they're not um, very in very good shape is instead of wearing the tire evenly and maintaining contact all the time with the road, it'll tend to bounce. And when the car bounces, the tire loses contact with the road, therefore not only wearing out your tire, but creating a safety problem. It's actually a critical safety issue that your tires stay on the road. Imagine that. Now, finally, I'm going to tell you, you should replace them about every 50 to 60,000 miles, whether you think you need them or not. I'll show you how they look here. Basically, what you have is at each wheel, we have one of these McPherson struts. It's got the coil here that's mounted to the vehicle, actually. And when those things aren't in contact or not holding up strong, you're losing gas money. So some people say, hey, bounce on the car and see if it bounces. That's the way to tell. And, and suppose you can tell a little bit. You usually don't notice when they're worn out. But what we recommend that you do is bring it into a shop, have somebody take a look at them. We want to look for any signs of oil leakage. You can see that, you know, this thing's been leaking a long time. And as it's leaked, dirt c collects at the oil. Once that's happened, it's no good. It's not going to work properly again. And the best thing we can do at that point is to put a new one on in its place, save you that gas money, give you a better ride, and most importantly, uh, probably uh, keep you safely gripping the road. Brent said, were we talking, though? I'm sorry? How, how much are we looking at, though, as far as you know, changing them out? Depends on the kind of car. I mean, if you have a Cadillac, you could pay $500 per wheel for struts. If you're talking about, you know, a typical average consumer's car, maybe a Honda Accord or a Toyota Camry, you might be looking at somewhere around $100 per wheel or 200 mm -hmm. even, depending on the design. David, thanks as always. We'll see you next Monday. Thank you. Bye, David. Be safe.